Oh, yeah, look at the dust. Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. I put the um, rubber mats in recently and I decided I wanted something to protect them. So, I went on eBay and bought these rubber mats. Now these rubber mats were possibly the cheapest on there but what I liked about them is these do look like the old rubber mats that you used to be able to buy years ago. They're not shaped, they're not formed, they're not got inserts and fancy mouldings. These are just like the old rubber mats from years ago so I thought oh, I'll get some of them. So I'll just snip these off. It's good having a car with a big flat bonnet. Look at the dust on the car. Because it's sunny. It's hopeless, isn't it? You can't. I don't know which way around to put these. <laughs> Just put it in like that, I suppose. Just protects it a bit, won't it? And I thought these back ones can go you can see where the seat rests down look so I thought I'd just put them like that so that the seat rests on it maybe I'll put them all that way around actually that's all right in there should protect it a bit Okay, well that weren't much of a video, was it? Okay, uh, I'll show you something. Under here, can you see there, look, there's a mark. I believe that is oil. So I decided to say to myself, well, where has oil come from? And I think what's happened was, I, can you see up there? That's the wiper motor up there, and I put a lot of oil in there. And what I think happened is that there was too much and it dripped out and landed just there below. So that was a bad thing, wasn't it? I don't want to put anything on it to, um, you know, try and dry it off because what I put on it to dry it off will probably, well, might kind of damage the um, rubber. Actually, I might try. I might try some elbow grease, just some elbow grease and a bit of rag. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Hang on. It is marketed as a degreaser, so... Okay, let's just leave that like that then and see what it's like when it dries. Okay. I'll leave the I'll leave the mat out for now. I need to do something to retain those strips down so they're always getting in the way. Naughty dogs fighting. Naughty dogs fighting look Look at him. Butter wouldn't melt. They don't only play fighting, they don't hate each other. Okay, right. Another little another little five minute mess about. Right out. Oi! Stop it! Look at that, they just stop, so it's only play. Okay, once again, thanks very much for joining me in the garage. I just thought I'd show you those new mats that came in. Cheers then. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Maggie's just chased her off. <laughs> you naughty girls. What are you doing? Ooh, 
Ooh. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> She's really f finding her feet, you know, sort of. Good old Meg. Okay, right. That'll do for now then. Thanks very much for joining me in the garage. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers then, bye. Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. Uh, it's not too warm today, but I'm just doing a couple of little tinkery little jobs. Um, just little inconsequential stuff, but you know, all stuff. To be honest, what it is, I'm, t I'm, t I'm tidying up and I keep finding little things. I thought, oh, that can go on the car. So I'll show you what I've done. It's nothing much. It's nothing much. I've just put the, um, the piece back that runs up inside the pillar there and there on that side as well. Just mainly, I know it needs re-trimming, but it's mainly so I don't lose the screws and the washers, you know, just to keep everything safe. Um, I've put my little mats in. I bought some little mats and put those in. So they're in. One of the things that's bugging me is this door handle here. This is no good. The, there's a good one on that side, which I've taken off, and I'm going to put the one from that side on this side. But I thought I might as well try and do something with this to, you know, make it work. I noticed there, there's the end piece. And that end piece is there. It's got a little rivet in it. I don't know if this chain is correct. I'll have a look at the other one. I don't think it is, obviously. Okay, I'll get this off and I'll take it to the bench and I'll just do a quick repair on it. You don't really need to see me doing this, do you? But that's the idea. You can see what I'm going to do. Okay. I'll be back in a little bit. Here's the one off the passenger side. It looks like it's just leather, actually. I don't, think there's, don't know if there's anything running up through the leather, but... I don't know. But that's the one off the passenger side. So what I've got here... Are the offcuts of the tubing, the vacuum tubing there I bought. This one, I've already cut it off to the same length as that one, as that. So I'm going to put this down through here, then connect the link and cut off the excess chain. I've already gone through this, so kind of dumbing it up so. I made a piece of welding wire there, look, so that I can pull the chain through. So that works. Now, I don't think I want, I don't want it slack. So what I think I want to do, I think I want to attach to that link there. So I'm going to pull this back. I've got a spike here that I've been using. I use it on them windscreen trims to line up the screw holes. So I think I want to attach to that link there. So I'm going to pull this back. Hang on. Attach to which one do I want to attach to? That one there. So I'm going to pull this back. Get this spike in the next one along to hold it. Then I'm going to attach the link to this one here. Well, I would do, except it's gone all tight. Okay. I don't want to do it too short. Maybe I'll attach it to this one here. And then if it's getting on my nerves, I'll, I'll shorten it by one link. 
So yeah, let's, let's play safe. I tend to sort of overdo things rather than trying to sneak up on it. I've got a little screw and a nut here that I've sorted out for it. Where's the nut? Where's the nut? I did hear something fall on the floor, maybe it's... I know where the nut came from and I've got some more, I'll go and get another one. Kick, kick the tripod. It's a little bit more bulky than that little rivet but I haven't got another one. Cut off this excess link here. Okay. What I wanted to, to happen was for that to go up there if I could. That's not too bad is it actually? It'll, it'll go on. And what I think I'll do, yeah, I think that, that's not a bad sort of, you know, it's not a bad sort of thing, is it? Okay, what I think I'll do, I, I will not put this on the driver's side as I thought I might, but I will put this on the driver's side to say, because it's, Good that this one has survived, and it's only survived because it's hardly been used. So I'll, I'll keep this one on the passenger side, and uh, I'll put this one on the driver's side. I don't think that chain is particularly strong, but you know, hey, what can you do? Yeah, I think I'll put that back on the driver's side, and uh, you know, that'd be my little repair there. I think that'd be okay. I'll get this back on then and I'll just show you what it's like when it's finished. There we go, look, that's sitting there like that. Hey, it works good. Doesn't get in the way when you're driving, drops down nicely. Yeah, I'm actually uh, very pleased with that. Better than I thought it would be. And that, that one's back in. This one does stand up a bit actually, but it's not so you know, when you're on the passenger side, it's not so kind of... Oh, actually, I think I'll put it on upside down. Look, if it was upside down, it would go on a bit better. Yeah, OK, I think I'll flip that round and it'll... Because that goes like that, but it doesn't go like that. OK, yeah, I'll flip that round and get it, get it on the other way. But you don't need to see that. But yeah, I'm pleased with that. Falls nicely to hand. It allows you to shut the door with all authority. Here's my little pieces. I know they're dirty, but you know the headline is a bit of a disaster, isn't it? Completely. Oh, I've got that little thing somewhere. I wonder where I've got that. Zzzt. Cool. Let's see if I can just put that back in place. the state of the mirror the mirror is actually just a mirror it hasn't got a surround it's just a piece actually a piece of glass I don't know if you know it passes the sort of safety things these days but that's the way it is it's just a piece of glass with a clamp around it okay right 
yeah, that well, that's all to show. Oh, well, there was one other little thing, and it really is a very small thing. But I did something else yesterday. There's my ignition key. Here's my driver's door, and this was really tight. This went in, but it wouldn't turn it. The others went in. The others went in. And don't want to turn it. And that one there went in. Didn't want to turn it, but you, did you see that it turns now? So, but what I did, I didn't want to try and force this with the key. I sprayed plenty of oil in it, so I I got my screwdriver, put it there, held the handle, and without exerting a lot of force, hardly any at all to be honest, it, it just moved a tiny bit like that, like that. So having got it there, you know, to move like that, I thought, okay, now I'll try the key. And I'll try this key, which is the one from the ignition, and it works. But also, this one here works as well. And that one works, it feels slightly better. So I think this is, is the one for the door. This other one, to show that it's not completely worn out doesn't work so it isn't completely worn out but it's worn enough that this key and this key which are different numbers both that goes a little bit tight just in the halfway mark but at least if I go somewhere I can at least lock it I didn't have the same look with this one here but at least this one is in the unlock position, so you can see that it's been kind of forced as well. But maybe I'll um, just keep spraying oil in it or take it off and warm it up or something. See if I can free it off. Anyway, so that's my little tinkering. But, to be honest, I am running out of things to do now. There's hardly anything left to do. So, what do you, what do I do? Okay, I'll leave it at that for now. I'm quite pleased with that little job there, and I'll just flip that other one up the other way, and that'll be done. Okay, right out. Thanks a lot then. Cheers. Bye. Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. I bought some stuff the other day. T-cut, colour fast, colour shade, and that's the colour shade because that's a black sticker. So this is a polish, but it's got like a black dye in it. And I don't know if you can tell, but I polished this area here with it to try and make these marks blend a little bit better because they were a little bit more white. I don't know if you can tell the difference between that side of the bonnet and this side of the bonnet. Can you see these here? They're not particularly white, but I do think that these ones are a little bit dulled down compared to these. I only did that side. You can see the area I did. It looks nice, actually. Um, but what just occurred to me, a good example is this door here, where these really do look rather white. So I thought I would just... And this bit here is particularly bad. So what I was thinking I would do is just get a bit of this stuff on a rag and polish this area and maybe do that bit there as well. Well, that's funny, you know. Yeah, OK. And, and polish this area here just to see if I can get it to blend in a little bit better. So I'll put the camera on the tripod and that'll give us a before and after, won't it? Mm. 
Um, one of the chaps that comments suggested using um, boot polish actually, which could be worth a go, couldn't it? It's almost, I almost feel like I don't want to polish it off. You know what I mean? It's, it's really dulled it down, just applying it to the spots. I'm trying to not try not to scrub it off too much, you know, because I want it to stay in those things. Just need to be a little bit more careful where I actually polish it off. I think that looks okay to be honest. I don't know. Now I'm looking again. Yeah, it's better. It's better, but not massively different. Okay. Yeah, it's better, but not great. Can the camera see that bit down low on the door? It does look better, doesn't it? I'll try doing that bit down there now. Because that's not going to polish up, I'm not even going to try and polish it, I'll just leave it. I don't know what it'd be like when it dries though, but you know, we'll find out, won't we? I suppose. Yeah, that, that looks red now, that bit that I put the pen on, so that's no good. Okay, well, that's how it looks now. It's hard not to get a reflection of the light on it, but it doesn't look so bad, I don't think. I think it's it's worth doing. It only makes a slight... I mean, that's made a good difference there, but I haven't tried polishing off yet. I don't know what it's going to look like when it dries. But I think that looks okay. It looks better, I think. It looks better. I mean, around that wheel arch, it's very light, isn't it? So it probably help there. I mean, it'll never look good, will it? It never look good. But you, you can see this area here. Look, I think that can be improved. Yeah, yeah. That that's that's definitely better down there. Like I say, it's hard not to have. A reflection on it okay that's just a little bit of light dickery this afternoon it's rather cold my hands are cold I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea okay thanks very much for joining me in the garage take care and I'll catch you on the next one cheers then bye hello okay I decided to try and see if I could make the lock on the boot handle work I didn't film it because I, to be honest I didn't really know what I was doing but I'll kind of give you a brief rundown this is the barrel and that is retained by a little pin that goes in that round hole there so, so I tap the little pin out The the barrel was very tight, 
it didn't want to move at all so I soaked it in oil and then I put it in the vise uh, and I got that that blowtorch there and warmed it up I warmed it up and uh, I put a screwdriver down the end of it and then give it a bit of a heave ho and it, it, it like I did on the door handle it rotated just a tiny bit you know like that in other words it rotated within the realms of the um, I don't know blocker plates whatever you call them these things here there's a word for them isn't it? I can't think what it is now tumblers so it rotated within the realms of that so knowing that I'd taken the pin out I then I couldn't I couldn't get this out but basically I held it and then started hitting it with a hammer both sides and then slowly I noticed that the this was starting to drift out so I kept going until just you know I could get under that lip there then I was able to prise it out can you see that mark that's just about eighth of an inch down the bore that's possibly relevant okay so I've got the barrel out and then this little thing here goes across there and I was able to just tap that out and I've cleaned it up and it slides in and out nicely now okay so here is basically an assortment of old keys that I've saved over the years none of which seem to fit very well but luckily the ignition key off the car which is this one kind of fits hang on that one kind of fits and the barrels the um, tumblers don't stick out very far and can you see that one that does stick out a little bit that one is probably the one that's made that mark down that bore now on this thing here can you see there's a number there look five two three and you can also see uh, info as well English Ford so if I, if I could get a key that was number five two three it would probably fit perfectly but I don't know what series it is because for instance this is a that's an FA okay FA now if I hold this like that that little groove thing has to go on that that side like that oh there we are okay yeah, I see so what you can see you can see down there look if you can see down there can you see that there's that groove which slides across from one side to the other on that plunger and this little this little eccentric pin is what engages in that groove so this goes in here Yeah, oh, there it goes there it goes so there's the key in the lock and it does turn and then it slides the pin but because it doesn't fit perfectly that's why there's that little scratch part where up the bore okay so all I need to do then I'll put a little bit of grease on the end of it um, and knock the pin back in and then it's just a case of putting it in and putting the nut on so yeah so that's good isn't it so I'll get that in place and I'll show you what it looks like <laughs> it just looks like a boot handle you know it was completely sea solid and 
If I'd have tried putting a key in and turning it with a key, it wouldn't have gone. That's why I went in with a screwdriver and was able to apply a fair bit of force, to be honest. I applied a fair bit of force and it wouldn't go. Then after I heated it up and sprayed oil in it, it did it did go. Once it gone, it freed up quite easily. So let's get... Oh, yeah. And the, the pin just goes behind that shoulder there. Right. I'll get that pin knocked in then. So there's the little pin in place. Just tap that in and now it it works okay. Does it work okay? That's unlocked. And that's locked. Clever isn't it? I'll spray some oil on it because I forgot to put some grease on it. Let's get it back on the car. It's a little bit stiff, but that's luck now. Okay, at least it unlocks okay. Right. That can come out. So that's locked, that's unlocked. Give it a bit of a wobble, hang on. I might order a key, I might see if I can order a FA, whatever that number was, it's on the camera, I'll, I'll be able to look at it. So there we go. So there we go, just one more thing that didn't work that now does work. That's what it's about, isn't it? Fixing things. Identify a problem, apply yourself to it and fix it. Okay, right. Again, not very big jobs now. It's just a case of tinkering. Thanks very much for joining me in the garage then. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers then. Bye. Hello. I'm back in the garage. It's a couple of days later. And I said I might order a new key. So. A new key came in the post. FA523 was it? FA523. Now, this is quite interesting because this key is the same as that key there. And it's the right one for the ignition. Don't know if you can see that. So this key goes into the so this key goes into the ignition nicely and fits, it turns the ignition on. This key, same key, goes into the boot lock and 
fits there. So it does fit there, right? As does the old one. It fits slightly better actually. It works slightly better than the old one. The old one's a bit worn. The old one fits in the ignition and the old one fits in the door. But I think you have to say the door and the key are pretty well worn. Okay. The new one doesn't fit in the door. I think it does if you wobble it, yeah, it does if you pull it out slightly and wobble it about, but it doesn't fit very well. This one, which was also on the original keyring, fits the door. No messing. So that would lead me to believe that this key is actually the correct key for this. And the other thing that it led me to believe was seeing as that ignition key, that ignition lock and this lock have the same number. I think that this lock must have been transferred onto this boot lid when the boot lid was changed. So I think that's the original lock to the car. That's the original key to the car. And that is a brand new replacement there so what I'm saying to myself is so on that one at the back it had a number on it so if I take this handle off I can read the number and get a new key but can you see that screw there it isn't the correct screw and I wasn't able to undo it it just goes round and round otherwise I think it's got a nut on the back which isn't standard so I think this has been changed which is why it doesn't match this key um, and it's different I can't I can't um, guarantee that I would have, actually have to take it off to have a look and I'm not sure I'm prepared to do that maybe I will maybe I won't but for now for now I'm quite happy that I've got keys that fit the ignition the door and the boot at my disposal and a spare key which actually would do that that old key there that one would actually do all three at a pinch okay right out just a little bit of sleuthing and I said I'd order a new key and there it is when I was working on this and looking at that number and messing about with this key because I didn't have my glasses on I couldn't actually read the number on the key I couldn't read that number on there and I realized while I was editing it and during the process of working on it that it is the right key so yeah just simple simple little things all these little details that you know bit by bit you make it just that tiny little bit better Okay, thanks for joining me in the garage then. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers then, bye. <laughs> Listen to him. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. You're ruining my grass. Look at the state of it. Okay, that butter wouldn't melt in a mess, would it, eh? Oh, charming. Okay, come on, let's go in. Right, keys. Stop it! Okay. 
Okay, thanks for joining me in the garage then. Take care. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers then. Bye. Just make me glove look. Where are you going with that? <laughs> okay, cheers then. Bye.